welcome to Real Fishing UK. In this video we head to West Wales in search of some of the best UK big game fishing on offer. And um, after doing a bit of research and finding out about the sharks you could catch in the UK, me and the guys were really up for booking a trip. So we'd done a bit of research through magazines, videos, um, the internet, stuff like that. And we managed to come across... Andrew at Whitewater and we wanted a skipper who really knew what he was doing and not only could help us catch fish but also educate us. After looking at Andrew's uh, videos, articles and stuff like that and the records that speak for themselves we really wanted to get a trip booked up with him. We managed to actually get out in the winter with him when we met him and it was definitely the right choice. You'll see highlights from that at the end of the video but the day come for us finally to go out shark fishing with him. And to say we were excited is an understatement. All the fish in this video that you're about to see are catch and release. When we arrived at the fishing market it was time to sort out the bait. One of the most important things in shark fishing is sending out a good slick to sea to attract the sharks. This is known as chum or rubber dubby. Andy kindly talked us through how to do this and also on his trips he provides all the ingredients from his mixture. And um, it's, it's good because it's really hands on as well where you get to create it. Again he's not doing it for you, he's talking you through it how to do it so you're doing it so when you do eventually get the chance to maybe hook a shark you know that you've put the effort in um, so once we create the mixture it goes over the side and that leaks out throughout the trip throughout the day continuously sending a scent of fish blood guts out to sea which the sharks hopefully get to home into and uh, it, it brings them closer and closer to the boat in terms of hook bait for this trip we used whole mackerel
John's doing the pest control. <laughs> 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 Down here now, hopefully this is his last run. I think he's had four or five runs. At this point in the session, Lewis and John both hooked into their biggest sharks of the trip in a double hookup. <laughs> That's better, Lou, isn't it? I'm out there winding, mate. It's done. Who are going?
As Paul was bringing his bait in to change it over, we saw a shark following. And right when we got the bait to the boat, the shark come up, quickly grabbed it, turned and pulled it down and pulled us away. And we knew straight away that it was a good shark. It, we see it, we both see it come and take the bait from the surface that he was about to pick it up. And it was definitely, you know, a hundred pound plus fish and was going to be the biggest of the trip so far. So it was pressure on. Hold on. Throughout the day the action was pretty consistent and the bites just kept coming and we had multiple double hookups and even a triple hookup which was surreal.
the trip exceeded expectation. Between us, we managed around 20 sharks up to 124 pounds. We were absolutely buzzing with, and it just exceeded expectation. Um, I'd like to personally thank Andy for having us aboard, and all the guys would like to say thanks as well. Um, and hopefully we'll see you again next year. You know, for us, it was a wicked day. For Andy, 20 sharks. His actual boat record is 88 sharks in a day, so it was nowhere near a record or anything for him. But for us, it was a memory that would stick with us forever. So thank you very much for that. Also, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you stay tuned now, we're just going to show brief highlights and overlook from a trip we had with Andy in the winter as well, which was also another great day. So that's just going to follow on from this. But until our next video, thanks for watching.